I know, guys. I know. Something has come. Something has come in the mail. I know, guys. Hold on. Something has come. Now, here's the funny thing, though. I actually don't know if this is a card or not. Because this is coming like, like, I don't know how to describe this, but it looks like how you get a bill. So I'm recording this in case it, it's something else. But, but, um, anyway, I'm, I'm going to open it this way because that way you can't see all the other stuff. Yeah. I right, still, hey, I mean, I have stuff in the mail sometimes. I'm not supposed to, but you know, stuff happens. Let's see here. It's weird. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those. Okay. I thought this was a magic card, guys. I thought. It's not. It's, it's one of those things with, with the fake uh, credit card or, or line of credit stuff to borrow money. Um, well, that is not what I expected to have happen today. So this is not what I thought. I thought it was like a built-in. I thought, oh, maybe this person's just doing it really professionally, the cards I'd ordered. Uh, and apparently I'm wrong. I mean, I could check it to make sure that this is what I think it is. But I think when I check this under scope, this is not going to end up being uh, a magic card. It's it's going to end up saying, you know, I, I'm, I'm, you know, allowed to have $3,500 dollars in credits or something i don't know anyway what a bummer eh <laughs> that was not what i expected wow i feel i feel so wet down all right um well um i thought i was gonna fill more time with that but apparently that's not gonna happen um the other thing i thought i would talk to you guys about today um you guys have seen me show boxes of stuff right and inside the box is like decks and, and cards uh i don't know about you guys um, I'm an older school player, and, and I played a long time ago. Is that what I like to say? A really long time ago, I used to play, you know, Magic. So let's say here we have a deck, and, th and this one here, I'm just glancing because uh, I've noticed this a lot lately. Let's say th this deck here looks like it is a red deck. Uh, okay, okay. So, so this deck I built a long time ago. Uh, it's been a while, but let's let's like I just want to show you an example, right? Okay, we got Kozilek, Great Distortion, Outcast Dragon Master, Old Bolts from Revised, uh, Akorma Firebird. I don't know, it's a it's from thing, but it's but this deck was supposed to be about card withdrawal, card uh, card drawing. So you'd use uh, a guy like Tybalt to draw a card and discard a card but you would have a library of laying out. That way you could decide if you want to discard that card or keep it in your hand or put it in the order you want it to be in. So when you use Tibble with, say, stuff like Faithless Looting, you're drawing two cards and discarding two, but if you want to discard to the top, like say, oh, let's put some land on top, you could do that. It made it possible. It's got Ball Lightnings. Uh, I had four Tibbles, four libraries of laying. Now, I used to have... Uh, the library langs from oh they're still here okay hold on <laughs> so library I thought these were gone uh, hold on let's see what else I got here all right um, for my alpha days or beta whatever they are it's beta uh, off center pretty bad but I mean <laughs> these are old man I don't know what a library goes for now this is pretty scuffed up and stuff. But it's, it's still Library of Lang from Beta. So you're talking... You no, know, it's pretty good. You're talking, they're, they're both played condition. But these are very old cards that, that I, I think I may have paid a dollar for. And I don't think they're going for a dollar anymore. <laughs> right? <laughs> I think just because of that stupid library that's in here, a deck like this is going to be a couple hundred bucks. Um... <laughs> I don't know. I, I sit there, guys, and and again, I don't know what you guys have, but when you when you go start going through deck boxes after deck boxes, it's just you've got cards, right? And you go, oh, you know, it's a blue deck. It's typical. But you start looking through, 
right? And, and that's a time walk created by Amy Weber. I showed you this in earlier videos that she did on a foil card. I think I paid $50, $60 for that. Um, she doesn't even do them in foil anymore, but as an example. So let's keep going here. Uh, foil Oblivion Rings. I have a set of four Ugin the Spirit Dragons. Islands. Orm's Chant with Ekron Scepter. That way it can like, stop people from taking turns. Abians to stop attacks and do more turns. Worm Coil Engines. Wrath of Gods. Peace Talks. Like, I look at this deck. It's got four of each of those things in it. Like, four Ugins, right? And that means that deck alone becomes a three, four, five hundred dollar deck. And <laughs> I sit there and I go, Elspeth Sun's Champion. What else is out there? In my piles of decks, which I don't review and don't look at and don't really... I'll be honest. I don't pay that much attention to. It sits there because I like to play with it. But how much of that could be made into some liquid income to help pay for stuff or do things? Or, uh, I mean, these two decks alone, that's probably, what, half a trip to to the um, Bermuda? I don't know. Um, I, I look at my cards up on the shelf. Like Those are the things I see, and I know they're there. But when you look at other cards and, and, you, and you forget that you've just got bins full like okay another example stack of cards which appears to be rares and stuff from con this is all rares from cons of Tarkir. who knows what's in there because i haven't really looked uh celestial colonnade from back uh back in zendikar okay force field it's force field guys it has no paper thing in it, so it's one of my real ones. Uh, oh, Magnus of the Tabernacle. So obviously I don't want people drawing a lot. Prophecy, um, Howling Mines, Mr. Decree, Island Sanctuary. Obviously I'm drawing and not letting people get through. Uh, River of Tears. I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm just saying. Pestilence Steam. Okay. <laughs> Beta Circle of Protection. Obviously this is probably a circle deck. Uh, I got some Isolated Chapel from... I mean, they're old car... This has got to be a circle deck just to pee people off. <laughs> Ooh, Howling Mind Foil. Like, I look at that. I right, hear some guys, I guess, what's this from? Future Sight? Some Demon guys. Magnus of the Abyss from Future Sight. A Balance from Revised. Magnus of the Disc. Magnus the Tabernacle. Uh, what else we got in here? Circle Protection Green. Sigils of the Empty Throne. Uh, this is all about drawing cards, obviously. And just getting through. But I sit there, and you don't know. Great Realm Preservation. You look at that, and you go, look at look, look what's out there, right? Look what's in your decks. It's not so calling. I think it's got to be worth a few bucks now, right? Original one? I don't know. It just it makes you wonder what you have hiding in the corners that you may have forgotten about. So, you know, have some fun. Look at your old deck boxes. Take a look to see what's in there. Uh, this is my Batman deck. Now, this one I know has good stuff in it, but I'm, ju I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you never know. So if you look around, you take a look and see what's in there, right? Sometimes you're going to say, hey, I forgot I had that sitting in a deck, right? I, I don't know. I just, I laugh a little bit. So hopefully you guys take a, a look around tonight, see what you got hiding out there, and remind yourself of how much value you may have that you don't even need or play with anymore. Because let's face it, guys, sometimes this is stuff you're just, you're, you're, you're not playing with it. It's, it's sitting there in a deck, it's a great card, but you're not, you're not doing anything with that card. And that, that's where it's a loss, right? If you're not making good use of that, what's the point? So, you know, something to, something to think about, okay? Anyway, um, for those of you who are new to the channel, I tend to talk about all kinds of random talk bits all the time. And, and check out things. Um, you know, what kind of my mailbox, all that good stuff. So this is Sean the Magic the Gathering guy. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. There was not a single spoiler that I could find today. I was very disappointed. Sad face. Guys, sad face. Nothing, nothing came. No spoilers, nothing in the mail. All I have is my Mox Amber I'm rubbing. See? 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 Just, I'm, I'm rubbing the Mox Amber. Just to make myself feel better because nothing came in the mail. So, um, you know, stay tuned tomorrow. Hopefully something new and exciting will happen. 
There's always something to talk about. Uh, but take a look around your cards, guys. You never know what's out there. Especially, don't just dump cards. Always check them first. Always keep a couple play sets of four if you have comments because you never know, metamorphosis, what's going to happen with cards. Uh, they can go up when you least expect it. All right, guys, this is Sean the Magic of the Gathering guy saying, have a great day, guys. Enjoy it.